up everybody this is African Hair God as you can see I'm in the middle of taking down my cakey twist so I figured um, why not record a video of me doing it so I hope this isn't going to be a long video but y'all know it is all I did was snip the very ends of the cakey twist off just to make it easier to separate and then I just separate it up to the braid and work it out with my fingers and I have nails so that makes it easy to take them down um, if you are using your nails make sure you file your nails down because if you have any splits or breaks in your nails it will snag your hair and rip and tear at your hair so be careful of that alright so um, one thing to know I remember the last time I took my hair down I worked the hair out of the braid like halfway and then I tried to like slip the fake hair through my real hair just sl slide it off and that ended up being more detrimental than helpful because all it did was promote knots at the ends of my hair and it caused the ends of my hair to break off and split ends and all that other terrible stuff so be careful of that okay so now that my hair is separated from uh, the fake hair, the extension hair, I am just going through now and separating my hair with my fingers. Why are you doing all that? Because you have to keep in mind, this hair has been put away in braids for over a month. There is a ton of shedded hair mixed in with your hair, the hair that's not shedded. So in order to prevent tangles and knots you want to take your time and work those out with your fingers before you go and grab the comb because the comb is just going to basically gather all the shedded hair into one particular point and it's going to tangle up and then you're going to have to cut cut it out and all that other crazy stuff so just take your time and just separate it see how that looks and really when you lightly like pull on it you can just pull out the shaded hair. It just slides out. Okay, so I'm not using water at all for this takedown. What I'm actually using is the Curls line, and this is the Curl Creme Brulee, which is, I mean, it's okay. It didn't really, you know, it's not bad. I mean, it, it I guess it worked for my hair, but I'm not crazy about it. Um, I like this because it is a thick uh, moisturizer which helps in the whole detangling and moisturizing my hair while I'm taking these braids down. So now that I've separated my hair with my fingers and I've put in the moisturizer, I'm just going to go through with my dimming and detangle further. Please excuse the noise, that's my rowdy roommates. And there we go. If I need to, I will go through with my fine tooth comb, starting from the ends of course, and just work my way up to the roots. And I know, don't freak out. As you can see, it's just gliding through my hair. That's because my hair is like really, really stretched. Um, and it can run through it so and then after I'm, I do all that all I do is take the hair and gather it in with uh, hair that I've already taken down and I just twist it up and out the way and I'm not doing like two strand twists or braids or anything I'm just doing like a quick coil so that I can twist it keep it stretched keep it detangled and out the way while I move on to the next uh, twist. So that's it. That's pretty much the whole process. And I'm just doing this over and over and over again. And what else should I mention? Anyways, um, so the last time I took my kinky twist down, my last set, I noticed um, that 
I suffered from a lot of breakage and a lot of knots and tangles during the whole takedown process because I rushed through it. But what I guess people, including myself, did not realize is that the takedown is just as important as putting your hair in the twist. Because after all, you don't want all those weeks of your hair being in a protective style and it growing and all that stuff. You don't want all that to go to waste when it comes down to take them down and you're rushing through and you're ripping the hair through your hair and you're creating knots and tangles that you have to snip off and break off which cause split ends and then your hair is weak and then you're like, what the heck is going on? I thought my hair was growing. <sighs> Anyways, long story short, take your time when you take your hair down. That is a lesson that I have learned that I wish I knew the last time I had them bad boys in there. Because I was like, I know I had these in for like a whole month. Why isn't my hair growing? That's why. Because I just rushed through the takedown and most of my hair got ripped off or broken off at the ends. And as far as the moisturizer you don't have to use this particular moisturizer like I said I'm not particularly crazy about it but I just like the fact that it's really thick and um, makes it a breeze to detangle with so you can use any conditioner it's actually thicker than my uh, Cantu leave-in which is part of the reason why I'm using it um, I'm not using water because with my last takedown I saturated my hair with water before I took them down and it was just very horrendous my hair was trying to revert back and it just promoted tangles and knots and the shedded hair was curling up with the rest of my hair and then that was creating even more knots and tangles so it was just really really horrible so this time I'm taking my hair down without water I'm taking it down just like this and I've already started on this side so it's been working out really good I think this system is really good for taking down my kicky twist so just wanted to share that with you guys um i think that's pretty much it i'm sorry for the long video again y'all know i can't help it um if i remember to i'll come back and show you what my hair looks like once i'm all done better yet i'm going to do a video on deep conditioning anyway as soon as i finish with this so You'll see my hair when it's time for me to deep condition. How about that? Anyways, that is it. Thanks for watching. Sorry I run my mouth, but hopefully you took something from this video. Um, be blessed. See you guys later. Bye.